Hello everyone, today we are playing Pet Zombies on the 3DS. Now this is on a 3DS XL, I would just like to note that. Our infection rate rises. Talk show host Tames Undead. World's first zombie pet store opened. Man fling zombie 375 yards. And I did go ahead and clear the save on it, by the way, so we're going to be starting out with our own pet zombie. Loading. Try a change of scenery using a different location. Try your expertise as a zombie pet owner. Alright. So, I mean, I'll, I'll reset again just to, just why not. Alright, so you've decided to raise the undead. Great. Zombie pet ownership, despite the obvious dangers, ethical implications, and health code violations, can be a very rewarding experience for both zombie and owner. As you and your zombie grow closer, you can refer to this handbook for vital tips and tricks of zombie ownership. It is yours to keep You can be re and can be reached in the zombie portrait. Zombies require a lot of the same things as traditional, more boring pets such as food, playtime, and attention. However, our undead friends need to be kept in line, so it's just as important to discipline your zombie as it is to feed or play with it. Alright? The first step towards sharing and the enjoyment of a fulfilling unlife is to choose the pet that's right for you. Look for a zombie that reflects your interest, a zombie that amuses you, or an undead schmo who just plain makes you feel better about yourself. Alright. Well, what am I supposed to press? Okay. So we have the jock, the scientist, the clown, the prom queen, the cook. The waitress, the nerd, granny. I'm thinking go with the clown. I know, I, I think I kind of dig that one. Missing pieces. Okay, cool. Next. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick with red. Well, that green one's pretty cool. Actually, make him look like the Joker. Name your zombie. Zombie. Most original name ever. Uh, sure. Playing with your zombie is both rewarding and fun. Using items like toys, tools, and even food, your zombie will become nurtured or tortured, depending on the interaction. That could get interesting. Items. Wait, 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 go back one. You can interact with objects, too. Try touching or dragging objects to see what happens. Detailed information on your zombie, including its nurture and torture tendencies, can be found from the zombie portrait. Explore options for nurture and torture in order to level up your undead companion. As you level up, you'll un unlock new items, zombucks for use in the shop, badges for completing specific tasks, and more. Alright. So, what, what do we do? Items. We have a mirror. We have three brains. And we have a torch. So, so what does the mirror do? Oh, okay, so we're giving our zombie a face massage. That's, um... Alright, good, good zombie, good zombie. Torture? Uh... Now what's happening? So, what, oh, okay, so we made that disappear. Uh, you want a brain? Come get the brain. Come get it. Come get it. You want a brain? Get the brain. How, how do I give it to him? Here you go. Eat, eat, eat the brain. What's this? Uh, in a second. Oh, wait, no, no, I, I do want to try the zombie launch game. Okay, so we have a new reward, a tennis ball. Great. 
Alright, so we're getting badges. Alright, cool. Oh, okay, we, we reached level one. So, oh, he wants the mirror again. Okay, here you go. You want to see the mirror? Alright, well, where's that mini game that just gave me the option? What's the room? What's this? Just like you, your zombie needs a change of scenery from time to time. By entering the decor room, you can customize the zombie surroundings and treat it to some new digs. You can cycle between unlocked playrooms using the left and right arrows on the screen and see what works for you. So we have Grainyard, Graveyard, and Main Street. Okay, once you've chosen the right playroom, it's time to decorate. Just select a, just select a spot to decorate and choose an item to place there. You'll want to put area rugs in the center spots of your room for your zombie. Cool. Okay, but we okay, so we only have Main Street right now. Decorate, we have, I don't have any, we have a side table, you have earned, I earned something, okay, we have a, we have a table, uh, cool, so, so we have, we have a table for our pet zombie, alright, that's interesting, Hello, zombie. So, okay. How do I get the zombie to go anywhere or do anything? What's this? Okay, badges. What's that? It's a brain in a jar. What's that? Okay, so that's street pass. All right. Uh, all right. So I, I saw something about a mini game. I want to go. I want to go play the mini game. I mean, I have the manual. If I have to break that out later to read it, I can. Okay, well, apparently there's you need to feed your zombie like three times, so. Zombie, here you go. Eat, eat the brain. Alright, but how do we make the zombie go anywhere? There you go. Good, good zombie. Good zombie. Okay, but what happened to that mini game? I want to play the mini game. Where'd it go? Okay, well here's the last brain I have for you, buddy. So have at it. Come get the brain. Good zombie. There's a good zombie. Who's a good zombie? He's not eating it. He's just walking away with it. He doesn't want it right now. You don't want it. Uh, here it is. Come get it. Come get it. Okay, he wants the mirror again. All right. Come, come get the mirror, zombie. Oops. Yes, I would like to try the zombie launch game. Okay, zombie launch is a great chance for your zombie to get some fresh air. It's also a great way to work out some aggression on your undead pet. Pull the slingshot back with your stylus and send your zombie soaring. You'll get bonus points if your zombie lands on one of the targets on the ground. Collect Z coins as your zombie soars through the sky. Okay. All right, zombie, here goes nothing. Okay, we have a magnet, and we can glide. I honestly don't even know what's happening right now. Uh, we. So, we got 210 coins. 
All right, so how many tries do we have? Do we have like unlimited? Okay, round two. We all right. Okay, we, oh, we don't, we can't use the magnet right now. Okay, magnet, glide, little zombie. All right, we have 350 coins now. Just some wholesome bonding time with the zombie. What if we don't touch anything? Let's see what happens. Just watching him fly through the sky. We. So I didn't even do anything and... Alright, interesting game. Alright, let, let's retry this. Let's retry the zombie sling. Two, one. Here we go. We glide, glide, zombie. What are you doing? Oh, I hold it to glide. Okay. Okay, I thought I was just supposed to like just press it. We are out of zombie glide boost. I can't use the magnet. I can't do anything. Alright, whatever. Wee! Alright, this is uh, interesting. Chikavia in Polish. Interesting. Get the magnet. My little zombie friend. Okay, we, got, we have another energy drink. We let's see how high up we can go. What did I do? Oh, I think I sent him too far. I earned the badge Space Invader. I earned the achievement Zombie Comet. Well, do we have a bigger slingshot now? I think we do. On, glide, my zombie friend. Glide. Okay, okay, so so second game of zombie launchers going better than the first did, for sure. Bringing in money. We must get all of the monies. We... I wonder what, like, the high score for this is ever in gaming. All right, so we got three tries. I think this is this is the last try, correct? We we it's uh, definitely an interesting game. I, I can say that for it. Oh, we we're catching birds. Is that good or bad? Glide, my zombie friend. Glide as far up as you can go. Okay, so we I think we went too far up again. Stuck landing? Is that good or bad? Alright, you've earned amateur flinger. New high score, alright. Let's go let's go check out the store. All right, now where is the store? Items, back, where was the store? Was that in room? I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Select, decorate. Okay, but how do I unlock other stuff? Oh, okay, I thought this was a touchscreen only game. Okay, so I move around the area using uh, the joystick. All right, all right, cool, cool, I got you. For a 3DS game, it's not, it's not that bad looking. There are some better looking 3DS games for sure, but it, 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 it doesn't look awful. So, 
Zombie. You want the light em up torch? What does the torch do? Burn. Okay, so he likes being caught on fire. Uh. Because that's not weird. Okay, spoiled milk bone. Alright, cool. So, what kind of a zombie want... I don't know why he would want to be burned. Alright, so our zombie enjoys being caught on fire. How, how do we put him out? We have a mirror. Maybe if he looks at the mirror, that'll help him? Go, go look at the mirror, zombie. Hit your zombie with the mirror three times. Come on, flip around again. Alright, we, we got another goal. No, you can't have the mirror anymore. It's my mirror. Alright, let, let's, let's give him a, a grooming and then we're going to call it a video. Well, everyone, this has been a very interesting game. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I'm sure, let's see if we can nurture him five times, and then, then we'll cut it off. See what happens when we nurture him enough. Okay, he wants the mirror. Psych. All right, anyways, thanks for watching. Jesus loves you. Let me know what you think of this game down in the comments. It's definitely interesting. Peace out, everyone. Oh, we've earned bad luck. Okay, how about that? Well, goodbye, everyone.